and welcome back to Math Party, people. Anderson here, your math coach, and here in part two of solving equations that are multi-step, we're going to be looking at equations that have variables on both sides. So if you take a look at 21 over here, this is from a worksheet that I created, but if you're in the course, know that in the next section that's not the videos, you'll see the worksheet there, and you'll also see the speed drills, that way you can practice your speed and confidence. So I'm going to show you how to walk through these, nice and easy, where you have, again, variables on both sides. The reason I'm making a video on this by itself is because typically we are able to map out what's going on and then just work backwards. But in this case, notice how, how do we work backwards when we have variables everywhere, right? So here's what we're going to do, my party people. I'm going to rewrite this. So 3k minus 9k equals 9 minus 9k. So here's what we're going to do. What we're going to do first, just like in the previous video where we just got done learning how to simplify first, that's what we're going to do. We're going to simplify where we can, and then we're going to utilize the idea that we need to do the same thing to both sides to move the variables to one side. So step one, I notice again that we have right here, like terms that we can combine. So right up there, we have 3k minus 9k. And if we go ahead and do that, what we'll receive is going to be negative 6k. So after doing that right there, we've got negative 6k equals the same thing, 9 minus 9k. Now, my next step is going to be this. So remember, all you have to do is make sure that you do the same thing to both sides. So on the right side, I have negative 9k, and on the left, I have negative 6k. I can't really solve this yet unless I bring them together. And so all we need to do is, again, do the same thing to both sides. Because on the right side, if I do that, if I add 9k, I eliminate it. But really what I'm doing is I'm moving all of the k variables to the same side. That's what I'm doing. And so by doing that, booyah, we're gonna cancel on the right side, and then we have negative 6k plus 9k. Well, when you add that together, that's the same thing as saying nine minus six, which is going to be 3k. So we have 3k equals nine now, and from here what we can do is, just like normal, now we can just work backwards, divide by three on both sides, and we're done. So with that, right here, divide by three, cancels out, and we have k equals three. And there we are. So I'm gonna walk you through just a few more problems here, maybe four to five, six more. And we're gonna go ahead and again, understand that when we have variables on both sides, we're just gonna do the same thing to both sides to kind of move things around. That's the key here. So let's take a look at 22 here. If you're struggling with the ASVAB, then it might be time to check out my ASVAB All Access program. It has all of my classes and the recordings, all the practice problems that you ever need, and you can text me whenever you need help. So there's much more to it, but feel free to click the link right here in this video or in the description that tells you a lot more about the program. And there's a video explaining how it all works. If you have any questions, I'm Coach Anderson. Find my contact info and reach out to me if you have any. Let's get to it and let's taste the ASVAB. We have 7n plus 7 equals 6n plus 13. So again, the goal here is to solve for n. But the slight little problem is that we have an n over here and an n over here. And again, this is the equal sign, so we have variables on both sides. So the goal here is gonna to be to get the variable by itself on one side, and here's how we do it. So allow me to repeat it. 7n plus seven equals 6n plus 13. So what I'm gonna do is again, utilize the idea that all I have to do is do the same thing to both sides. And if I perform opposite operations, that's how I can eliminate it from one side into the other. So. If I want to get rid of 6n, what I need to do is subtract 6n, right? But just remember, do the same thing to both sides and you're going to be good. So I'll subtract 6n over here as well. Booyah, we're in business. And what's going to happen is it cancels on the right side, leaving me with 1n. So you can write 1n or you can just write n. Either way, it's the same thing. But rewrite everything else. n plus 7 equals 13. So now my next step, what it's gonna be, is solving this equation like normal. Because now I have all the variables on the same side, and now I'm good to go. So what I'll do now is do the opposite of adding seven, which is gonna be subtracting seven from both sides, canceling out right there on the left side, leaving me with n equals six. So, so far, I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you're seeing that, you know, although it may look more complicated, really it just adds one additional step and we can only do one step at a time, so that's what gives us that calm, cool, and collected feeling. That way we can handle any problem that comes in front of us. So let's check this one out here. 
we have negative 15 plus n equals 6n minus 8n. So just like the first problem that we did here, notice that we can combine some like terms. So right over here, I noticed that again, on the same side of the equal sign, I have 6n minus 8n. So combining like terms here, what I'm gonna write is the same thing on the left side. And then notice that we have six minus eight. Again, they're the same terms, they're like terms. So we can add them. So six n minus eight n, six minus eight, that's gonna be two, but negative two, because we're taking away more than we have. So that's gonna be negative two n. All right, so from here we have options. Because again, as long as you do the same thing to both sides, you're gonna get the correct answer. So I could try to move the two n over here, move the 15 over there and then solve. Or I could just move this n over here and give myself less steps to deal with. And that's exactly what I'll do. Again, as long as you do the same thing to both sides, you're good. So my goal right now is to move this or this to the other side. I'm just gonna take this one and move it over. So the way that I'll do that is by subtracting the n on both sides. The reason we do that again is the opposite operation. Instead of adding, we're subtracting because that's gonna allow us to go ahead and cancel it out. Nice and easy. So from there, there we have it. Boom, and so we have negative three n over here because negative two minus one, negative three. And we have negative 15 on the left. And so now what I'll do my party people is we'll finalize this by dividing both sides by negative three. Because again, what we're doing is opposite operations. We had negative three times n, and so we'll divide by that negative three. So that cancels here on the right, giving us an answer of n equals, then we have a negative divided by a negative, which is a positive, 15 divided by three is five. And so we have five equals n, and we're all good. So let's keep going here, a couple more practice problems here. We got this, my party people. So here's number 24. So again, we have variables on both sides, and we also have uh, two variables on the same side. So what we can do first is go ahead and take care of that by understanding that we can combine like terms. What is b minus 3b? Well, it's basically saying what's one minus three because they're like terms, we can combine them. And so one minus three is negative two, negative two b. And then we'll write everything else out just as normal. Be careful not to you know, mistakenly write something incorrectly. And now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna solve this equation. So typically, again, you know, we want to deal with positive numbers where we can, but remember, we can do whatever we want here. As long as we do the same thing to both sides, we're going to be fine. So if I wanted to, I could subtract B on both sides, or we could also add 2B to both sides. Either way, the goal stays the same, moving the variables to the same side. It should matter to you if the variables are both on the right or both on the left. It really shouldn't matter. The left and the right sides are the same thing, so you're good. So I'll go ahead and add 2b to both sides because what this is going to allow me to do or see is the variable as a positive already because b plus 2b will be 3b. And so just rewrite everything else that we have. And now what I'll do is I'll go ahead now and subtract 5 on both sides. By doing that, boom, I'm working backwards now. Now I have the opportunity to solve this like we normally do. Booyah cancels out on the right side. And we have negative 19 minus 5, which is negative 24. Because again, if you're a negative and then subtracting, you're just getting more negative. And so there, and then we have 3b. And so lastly, what we'll do is divide both sides by 3, giving us that cancellation on the right side. And what we have now is b equals negative 24 divided by a positive 3 is a negative 8. And that's why b is the answer there. And so I'll walk you through a couple more of my party people, just two more here, and we will be good. So let's check this one out here. We have 10 plus 2n equals 10 minus 5n. Hey, hey, before we get to crushing this problem, just wanted to remind you about my ASVAB All Access program. So if you have test anxiety, if you blank out on word problems, if you're frustrated and can't keep a solid study schedule, then this program is there to support you. Long story short, you're going to be able to text me whenever you need help. You get all of the classes and the recordings so you can work around your schedule whenever you need to. On top of that, you're gonna get access to over 2,000 practice problems that let you learn from every mistake by watching video solutions to those math questions. Not like a textbook where you have to figure it out on your own. On top of that, there are way more features like practice tests, study guides, flashcard sets, all that good stuff. 
So go ahead, either text me or check out the link either somewhere here in this video or in the description. That way you can keep raising your score and get the job you want because that's what you're here for at the end of the day. Again, I'm Coach Anderson. Check out the All Access program and sign up and then keep going watching this video so you can keep crushing it. I'll see you there. Okay, sounds good. So what we're gonna do first is understand that again, we have a variable here, there's the equal sign, and we have a variable there. So we don't have the variables on the same side, so I'm gonna to wanna to make them or get them to the same side. So the easiest way for me that I can see that being done is if I go ahead and look at the 5n. Right now the 5n is being subtracted. So if I wanna make it disappear from the right side, looks like I'll just need to add 5n. And of course, remember to make sure to do the same thing to both sides. Boom. So once we do that, cancels out on the right side, and then we're gonna have 10 plus 2n, then we add the 5n, and that's gonna give us 7n. So we have 10 plus 7n equals 10. Now remember, one plus two is the same as two plus one. If it helps you seeing it like this, 7n plus 10 equals 10, sure, that's fine. Now, to, find it, to finish this off, what we're going to do here is subtract 10 from both sides. Cancels out right there. Cancels out there actually too. Pretty interesting. And now we have 7n equals 0. And so when we try to solve this, we'll divide both sides by 7. And what happens here is it cancels out on the left, giving me n equals 0. Because again, 0 divided by anything is going to be 0. And so there we have it. The answer is b. So last one here, my party people, let's tackle 26 together. Or let me see if I can find a harder one here where we have maybe a little more going on. Uh, maybe perhaps right over here. Uh, maybe see something a little more interesting. Let's look at number 30. Number 30 seems to be a little more interesting, a little tougher here. Let's get it done. So what I notice is we have, again, variables on both sides. We got variables here and here and also over here. So there's a lot going on, right? So just remember, at first, your first step, if you can simplify, simplify then move the variables to the same side the numbers to the other side and then work backwards like we're used to doing so here i have a positive 8n minus 4n what i can write that as would be 8 minus 4 and that will be 4. and then we still have that minus 13 right there equals 7n minus 9. now what i also notice is that we have our constants here 1 and minus 13. So we can go ahead and take care of that as well. Because again, they're on the same side of the equal sign. If they're on the same side of the equal sign, those are, you know, if you have like terms, combine them. If they're on opposite sides of the equal sign, then we gotta work backwards. So here, what I see is one and minus 13. Again, we can basically view that as one minus 13 plus four N. Bring the sign with it if you wanna see it in the proper way. And so one minus 13, well, 13 and one have a difference of 12, but it's going to be negative 12 because, again, 13 is bigger. So we have negative 12 plus 4n equals 7n minus 9. And so from here, what we're going to do is we're going to add, uh, add the 12 to both sides to move that over. And we also want to move the 7n over by subtracting it on both sides. So with that said, let's get the job done. So over here, what I'll do, first, I'll go ahead and move that 12 over. And so if we do that, Essentially, what's going to happen is it cancels out here, and we have 4n equals 7n, negative 9 plus 12, that's going to be positive 3, because 12 minus 9 is 3. And then lastly over here, or not lastly, but my next step is going to be to subtract 7n on both sides. If I subtract 7n on both sides, that's going to eliminate the 7n, or essentially allow me to move it over to the left side. So once I have that going on, booyah, 4n minus 7n is negative 3n, and that's going to equal a positive 3. And so my last step would end up being dividing both sides by that negative 3. So divide both sides by negative 3, and we are golden. We have ourselves n equals negative 1. And so we can come right back up here, and we see that a would be the answer. And so take a look. You know, It seems like a lot of steps, right? It seems like it. But remember that you can only take one step at a time. So we can always get the correct answer as long as we remember the main principles. Make sure that you're doing the same thing to both sides. Make sure to have the variables all together on the same side. And combine any like terms or simplify where you can. That way you can give yourself an easier time. And so 
with the 7 40 people, looking forward to seeing you in the next video here, starting at number 41, where we're going to be looking at, well, what if we have a parentheses in the problem? What are we going to do when we have a parentheses? How do we get those done? And hint, hint, it's going to be the distributive property. We've learned that, and we're going to keep employing it now. So I'm Anderson, your math coach. If you're in the course, remember, move on to the next video. And once you're all done with the solve set, make sure to go ahead and look at the worksheet yourself and try to speed drill practice as well. So I'll see you in the next video, my party people. Let's get cracking.